Hello and welcome back to the world of psychology. The musical fit hypothesis or does French music make you buy French wine? Imagine you are in a supermarket and maybe you already decided because you have some friends coming over for the weekend, maybe you already decided to buy some wine. And when you get to the wine department of the store, there is some music playing, obviously French music because it's mainly played on the accordion. And when you get closer to the wine racks, you see that there are obviously two very similar wines they are of the same sweetness, they are of the same price. The only difference is one wine is obviously from Germany because there is a German flag on the wine and the other wine is obviously from France. So what you gonna do? Does the music influence your decision? Maybe you say, no way. Well, maybe you are one of those that were not influenced, but many people in the study, which was conducted exactly the way I described, many people seem to be influenced by the music. And the effect was quite robust, which is probably the reason why this study is nowadays regarded as a landmark study. And maybe you've already heard of the study as well. But nevertheless, it's always interesting, in my opinion, to hear how the study was exactly conducted. Because usually in the media you just hear French music makes you buy French wine. But in fact, it's not that simple because French music didn't make people buy more wine in general or more French wine in general. But it was more about the decision between two competing products. And these products were very similar. They had the same taste, the same sweetness, and they were of the same price. So under these conditions, the music that was played from the in-store display of German and French wines really seems to have influenced the decision for one of the two wines. But let's have a closer look. Um, on alternate days, there was either played French music, as I said, music that was mainly played on the accordion. And on the other days, they played music that fitted the German wine, which in fact was beer keller music, mainly featuring brass instruments. And over the course of two weeks, all in all, 82 customers were observed while deciding for one of the two wines. So the experimenters were standing from a safe distance and and noted which wine they chose. And they noted that when French music was played, exactly 40 bottles of French wine were chosen in comparison to 12 bottles of German wine. On the other hand, when German music was played, only eight bottles of French wine were chosen, but now 22 bottles of German wine. And what is especially interesting is that Right after the customers decided for one of the two wines, the experimenters went over and told them, well, we are conducting a study and um, it would be nice if you could answer us some questions. Of the 82 participants, 44 agreed to participate in this short survey. And there was one very important question they asked. They asked, do you think that the music that was played in the background influenced your decision for the wine? And only 6 out of 44 respondents said, yeah, I think the music had an influence on my decision. So most of the people were either really unaware of the influence of the music or they just didn't want to admit it. So it's no doubt that the results of this study, which was conducted in 1999 by North and colleagues and was published in the Journal of Applied Psychology, there is no doubt that the results of this study 
are really interesting and it's no wonder that the study became a landmark study. Nevertheless, as with all studies, it's always good to have replications because as we are working with probabilities, it's never possible to rule out false positives. Mm.